What's going on everybody, Dan here. So it's late February, but it's actually pretty nice out as you can see I'm sitting outside. Um, this nicer weather has got me thinking about springtime, which that means camping season. Um, and in a week or so, we're actually heading down to Gulf Shores. So I got to thinking, you know, it's time for maintenance. Uh, we've had our camper for a year now. I knew that we had yearly maintenance that we should have performed on it, but I didn't know what all we needed to do. It's kind of been in the back of my mind over the winter. But I feel like Mark over at Walnut Ridge had maybe been reading my mind because here the other day I got a voicemail message. I'll play a snippet for you of it. Hi, Dan. This is Mark Wells here for Walnut Ridge RVs. I'm just giving you a little courtesy call here pertaining to the 11-month inspection card that we sent to you in the mail. I just wanted to check and make sure you got that and to see if you would uh, be willing to bring it in so we can do the free inspection. Also, with that being said, uh, I'm going to send you an email to kind of give you a breakdown of some of our yearly maintenance that the factory recommends. If you have any questions, uh, please give me a call or give me an email. Hope you and Sarah are doing fine. Yeah, so he did actually send the email. I think he sent it a day later. I'll show a little snippet of that up here now. And uh, we got a hold of Mark and we took our camper over. We're going tomorrow morning, either tomorrow morning or the day after to pick up our camper. So what I thought I would do is take you guys along when we pick it up, find out all that they did to it. Uh, I'm gonna show right now the different packages that they offered. And I know every dealer is different, but this is what Walnut Ridge offered. We went with the ultimate package. So when we get over there, I'm gonna have Mark go through all of the things they did, why they did them, why they're important, and hopefully get any questions that I may have answered and that I could share with you guys. So stay tuned. <music> Hey guys, what's going on? So we're almost to Walnut Ridge now to pick up the camper. Oh, we're gonna go in. We're gonna meet with our service advisor, Mark. Morning, Dan, how are you doing? Doing well, doing well. So, uh, can you pick up the camper today? All right, good deal. I know that you did uh, a bunch of maintenance on it. Correct. So, if you've got time, I would absolutely love for the audience, for us to go someplace, sit down, you can tell us about what all you did, why that's important that you do that on a yearly basis and go from there. Sounds great, we can do that. Awesome. Okay guys, so again, Mark, he's been our service advisor since day one, great guy. So, give me the spiel, buddy. All right, this is what we got going on here. Uh, since you're getting ready to go on a trip and your camper's about a year old, so there are some yearly maintenance items that need to be taken care of. If you look on this uh, repair order here that we've uh, generated for you, we highlighted probably the three basic things that most people need to have down on their camper for maintenance. Okay. Uh, one is repacking the wheel bearings. Uh, so I'm going to stop you early on. Okay. I have no idea what that means and why it's important. Okay. The reason why we suggest that the wheel bearings be cleaned and inspected, uh, the manufacturer suggests about once a year or around 8,000 miles, whichever occurs first. Uh huh. Uh, it's a safety feature, you know, if it wants to be broken down on the side of a road. Absolutely so not. what we do is we pull all the wheels off, we pull all the bearings out, we inspect them, remove all the old grease, and then we put a high performance grease back in its place. Okay, and okay. Once we inspect them, you know, we take a look at the brakes, make sure they're good, clean any of the brake dust out of there, look at the magnets, check your tire pressure, and then like I say, we repack them with a high, high performance grease so when you're so then you know when you're going down the road, you got peace of mind that absolutely. nothing's going to happen to your tires or your axles. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. All right, so what else we got here? Uh, the other part of it is uh, keeping the unit from days like today, we're pouring down rain, keeping it nice and dry. Uh-huh. Uh, what we do, we do a roof inspection. We'll go around, we'll inspect the roof, make sure there's no voids in the sealant. If there's any voids in the sealant, we'll spot seal those. Okay. Also the sidewalls. We'll go around compartment doors, clearance lights, moldings of that sort. If there's any type of voids in the sealant, we'll seal those up also. Yeah. All right. So next, I see sidewall spot seal. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's where we check around the moldings and stuff like that. Compartment doors, mm -hmm. clearance lights, uh, any sealant that is uh, missing a void in sealant, we get that sealed up. Okay. So we've started at the top, and now we've worked our way down Correct. the sides to Correct. make sure we're good there. Okay. Correct. That makes total sense. And the other thing is, well, it's right here on the bottom, is uh -huh. the slide out maintenance. Yep. Take a look at slide outs, run them in and out, make sure the running operating is fine, clean and lubricate all the seals and everything. Because it's important to keep those seals conditioned, right? Like Correct. at least yearly or twice, is it 
yearly or twice a year? Well, actually, your seals you want to check are probably every couple, two, three months. Oh, okay. Okay. You know, when you're out and about, camping season in mm -hmm. the sun, uh, sun and uh, the rubber seals it can dry them out. Oh, that makes sense. When they dry out, they get brittle. When they get brittle, they can possibly leak. And also, it makes it easier for when you run the rooms in and out to wipe any debris off of them. Also, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Benji folks got the ultimate package. Uh, we, we did some additional work to your camper. Okay. Uh, the three that we just discussed earlier, that's our most common things. Yep. Now, in addition to that, with our ultimate package, what we also do, we will also go through all your appliances, mm -hmm. clean those out. Uh, the refrigerator will blow out the any debris, uh, water heater, air conditioner, uh, furnace, mm -hmm. uh, all your major appliances. We'll go through there, clean them out, make sure they're functioning properly, test them. We also do an LP system safety check. Um, okay. Taking these things down the road, a lot of times, you know, things are moving and shifting around. Absolutely. So Absolutely. Another safety feature, you know, to keep your family uh, nice and safe on the road. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple other things, you know, we'll check the uh, check the roof again. We also do a clean and conditioner on it. Okay. We'll get up on the roof. It's a two-part process. We'll clean it as best as we can. And once we get that done, then we put a protectant on top of that roof. Kind oh, okay. Of, kind of think of it as like a sunscreen for your roof. Oh, nice. Now, is that something, uh, to interrupt you real quick, is that product something that a person can buy on their own and condition on their roof? Absolutely, yeah. Is yeah. that something that's only recommended to do once a year, or is that something you should do a couple of times a year when you're cleaning your roof? Do you put that protectant on it every time? That is recommended at least once a year. Once a year? Whether you do it in the fall or you do it in the spring. Okay. But most generally, uh, the product that we do, it's got enough to do two applications. Oh, okay. Some people will do them twice a year, but at least do it once. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Then another thing that we do is uh, we also do a seal tech machine. Okay. And what that is, is a lot, of, a lot of people want to know about that, but what it is, is we actually hook a device inside the camper. Mm -hmm. What we do is we pressurize the camper. And once we've got pressurized, then we take a soapy water solution and we'll go around all the moldings, all the windows, and stuff like that. Basically, wherever you see bubbles, there's air. Where there's air, you can get water. Oh, that's really so cool. So that will pinpoint an exact leak so we can get that sealed up for you. That's really cool. That's yeah. something your average person doesn't have at home. Correct. Okay. Correct. All right. Great. One of the last things we do to your unit is we'll do a what's called a spring fresh. Uh -huh. What we do is we'll put this into the water system. What it does is just helps eliminate some of the odors in the water lines and help freshen all the faucets and everything like that up. Get you clean and fresh yep. starting the, the year out right Absolutely, right? yep. And then we'll also, uh, we'll deodorize the holding tanks and flush those out also. Well, that's fantastic. Yep. So you guys saved me hours and hours and hours of maintenance myself, yep. including some things I not, not only wouldn't know how to do, but don't have the equipment to do. And guys, as you know, we're heading down to Gulf Shores in a little over a week, so you know, having stuff like this is just that little extra peace of mind when you're going, you know, 2,000 miles round trip with your with your camper. Well, Mark, I, I can't thank you enough for doing the video, taking the time. As always, you guys do amazing work. I think that's important to highlight, and I really, really appreciate it. My pleasure. Awesome.